Hi, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to operate a HD camcorder. The camcorders we use are Canon. To power on, the power button is located in the back. Where the power adapter gets plugged into is on the bottom right. Once you power on the camera, the left side is where you can flip open the LD LCD screen. Once the camera is powered on, you can open the lens cap. The switch for the lens cap is on the right side of the lens. It's best to only open the lens cap after, ca after the camera has been powered on. Once you power on the camera, you will be able to see the image inside the LCD screen. The first thing you want to do is press the home button which is located on the interior inside of the camera and it's the middle button. You will see four options. You want to go to camera mode and press the manual button. The reason you want to press the manual button is because if the camera is left on automatic mode, the, all the icons that appear on the LCD screen, such as the grid marks or the volume or the battery icon, will appear in the stream, okay, on the YouTube channel. So after pressing M for manual, hit OK. Now you should only have to do this once when you initially set up the camera and ideally I will have this all set for you but just in case I want to walk through everything. Okay. You can see on the top right side is the battery icon to see how much battery I have 20 minutes left and then how much room I have on the SD card. As you can see I have about 2 hours and 47 minutes left of recording time. You also see you have a mic level that's going up and down as I talk. You have a button to take a picture and then you can uh, have function where you can adjust the focus manually or the exposure and other things such as white balance. Generally speaking, if you don't touch any of that, it will automatically um, do its focus. However, during a game or something, if it does go out of focus, you can just touch the screen and it'll focus. On whatever object you touch, it'll, you can see the little icon, it would follow it around. So the other features you want to use by pressing the home button, um, other settings, you have many options you can choose from. If the on-screen markers are bothering you or you like them on, I'm going to turn them off for you guys. is located right here. Um, if you press on the top, you can see you have some options. If you press the wrench symbol, that's where you want to make sure output on screen display is marked off. You can have AV, AV headphones with the headphone icon. This way you can plug in some headphones if you want to hear the sound. You want to make sure power saving mode is off so the camera doesn't turn off during the live stream. And the other one is initialize the SD card. Okay? It'll take a little while to load and then you can just press initialize and that will erase the entire SD card. So say after taping two games it's full, it's an easy way to uh, just quickly erase the card. The other options, if you click the middle one with the, um, the film frame icon, recording mode, you know, I always keep it at the highest, MXP, which is 24 megabits per second. Um, the frame rate 60i is best for fast, uh, fast moving sports. And there's really no other options you need to worry about. Now, once you have everything set to record, it is this silver button with the red line on the back, right by the battery, on the right side. Press that, and then you will see in the screen a red dot appears, and you should see a, the timer counting up, how many seconds you are recording. There you go. 
10 seconds, 11 seconds. And then also on the side of the camera, th this will start blinking red. To stop recording, simply press the button again. Okay, I believe it's crucial that you record during the games because if this is not recording, sometimes the camera tends to go into demo mode or still power off after, say, on for an hour um, just because it thinks it's static and somebody just left it on. So that's why I always recommend recording an event even if you're live streaming it. And it's always good to have a backup anyway. Um, the other features in the camera located inside on the left hand side of the camera this is where you would plug your mini HDMI cable that would go then go to the um, encoder box that would then have a USB cable out to the computer okay um, this is your mic jack if you want to hook up a separate microphone and this is your headphone jack however it is also an AV jack for playing back on like an analog signal to a TV so that's why you want to make sure in the menu you have that headphone icon selected if you want to watch something you recorded, the bottom button, okay, you can see camera and play symbol, this will switch it to play mode. Um, this feature is also useful if you want to delete something. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. Uh, if you click edit and delete, and then you can choose select by date or all scenes if you want to delete the entire footage on the SD card. So I usually choose select and then you can select multiple items to delete or you can also hit remove all that's pictured on the screen. Once you're done with that, if you simply click the play and camera button again, it'll bring you back into the camera mode. If you have any further questions, please email me at kecker at mtschools.org.